but it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Get up, you son of a bitch. Making love. There is no tomorrow. There is no if you want to make motivational gym style videos, here's how you can do it using one, a cheap and quick and dirty way using CapCut templates. And I'm going to show you a more proper way using the CapCut app where you can customize more things, change the fonts, change where the cuts happen. And I think it just overall looks a bit nicer as well. So my name is Junius and I help health professionals make content and grow a social presence. All right, so let's get started using the quick and dirty way. So the quick and dirty way is to use CapCut templates. So if you're scrolling on the app and, and sometimes you see a video that has CapCut template above the name of the person who made the video. It's like I'm scrolling, I can't find any now, so that's quite inefficient. So the faster way is to actually just go to the CapCut app, go to template, which is next to edit, and then search for a key term, for example, gym edit. If we search it up, we can go to one of these videos, we can watch it, and then we can just use template and then select whatever clips we want to use for this template. It's quite simple, it's quite self-explanatory, it's very quick and easy. You can also look for specific creators that make templates. For example, self-growth vlogs, I found, and she looks pretty good. Her, these templates look pretty good. And also another creator called Kai, shout out to these creators. This creator makes pretty good templates as well. So if you just follow these creators, you can just use their templates and it'll be pretty good and a quick and easy way to do it. But I'm gonna show you how you can do it in a much nicer, more customized way that would probably suit your brand better. And that's to just edit the entire video yourself. So if we go to TikTok and find a video that has a sound we really, really like, it can be an AI voice, it could be music, it can be whatever, as long as you like the audio of that video. So I really like this video. It's about how, how you can get hit and keep moving forward. Rocky Balboa. So if we copy link and we just want to send it to ourselves so we can access it on our computer. I like to use the notes app. So I'll just paste it to the notes app. So if we go to the notes app in my computer and we copy and paste this link into a website website called Qload. I'll just search it up. I already have it there, but I'll search it up. This one, TikTok music, and then just paste that link here. Download MP3 tracks and songs from TikTok. Just download it very quick, very efficient. Download track, shouldn't take too long. So done. And then what we want to do now, I'm gonna give you this reference sheet in the description. So don't worry about trying to take screenshots. Now we wanna to go to CapCut and then create a new project and import all the clips we want to use. So this was the audio track, I believe, yes, that we just downloaded. And then we also want to import all the videos that we want to use. So this is my friend Rishi, also a former client, now friend, and he's absolutely built. So if you want to get inspiration from someone, I'd consider following him. Not biased at all, but he's my boy and I really think he's gonna go far. Anyways, so we have the clips. First of all, we want to drag that audio onto our timeline. And then we want to ultimately just have a look at whatever clips and footage we have and then drag it onto the timeline. So I like to start off with an establishing shot or a shot which hooks the audience. So I have some nighttime shots of him getting into the gym. It looks kind of cool so if we just drag it onto the timeline and we want to make cuts every time there's a cut in the music okay not every time there's a, a beat in the music but you only make cuts when it makes sense in the music you don't want to make random cuts random places and you also don't want to be too predictable with where you make your cuts you don't want to to be on beat on beat on beat on beat on because that's a bit boring you want to sometimes go fast sometimes go slow you want to mix it up don't be predictable because we care about retention, right? That's TikTok. So I'm gonna cut there, just an introductory shot. And then maybe a shot of him getting into the gym. If I just drag this here, I can get it to exactly where I want it to start. And another cut here. You can look at the peaks if I go, go Command Plus. If we go and zoom in, we can look at where the peaks are in the music. Command B, cut it and delete that. 
and you make cuts exactly where the music is. And then I'll ultimately just keep going with this entire process. So that's pretty much the basis of editing. Just a few things I wanted to point out. If you are a pro-level editor, you try to time the movement with the beat as well. So not only the cuts between the clips, but in the clip itself, when he fully contracts his muscle, if you can time that with the beat as well, that's something very satisfying for the viewer that they might not understand why it's necessarily satisfying. So just little things like that, paying attention to things. Sometimes a, sm a small zoom in can work really nice. For example, this clip when Rishi flexes, if we go scale at the keyframe at the very start of the video, if we go down arrow, back arrow, and then scale a bit more near the end, it's now a zoom in. That's really good. And also the original clips have sound, so you want to turn the sound all the way down by just dragging this down. And this is currently what I have so far. So let's have a look. Alright, I think you get the gist. Now what I want to do, I'm going to add captions. So the way to do that, you want to go to text, auto captions, English correct. And that should auto caption the clip. It might not be accurate because there's music in the background and the, that music might distort the captions. But let's see what it does. So that's pretty good. Try to make the captions centered and try to make sure there's no gaps between captions. And also, if we go to captions here, it's a bit long sometimes so what you can do if you go to where you want it to start on a new line if you click enter it'll start on a new line there for example here here and i think and there's a swear word here which i will use an asterisk to mask the vowel all right so i'm going to change the font and there are a few fonts i like i like cochin one of my personal favorites i like the bold font but italicized i think that looks quite cool as well i have a list of fonts for you on my page so, where is it? Bibes Nue, Montserrat Black, you just have to capitalize everything, which is a bit of a pain. And then Cochin and the bold font. Those are great fonts you can use. Cochin Italicize looks pretty cool as well. But I'm going to go Cochin Regular. Go Command Plus to zoom in. And I don't want any gaps between captions. And then I also want to make the word stand out. A little bit and you can do this with adjusting the clip itself so it's darker so the white text pops out or you can go to add a shadow and or a stroke and it'll look something like this i wouldn't do a strong stroke if you do decide to use a stroke you can play with glow so i probably glow go with glow black shadow quite blur Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks all right for me. I'd play around with the settings initially because you want to try to stay consistent within your brand. So spend a little bit more time in the beginning to get your settings correct and play around and take a photo or memorize these settings. And then what else I would do, I would also then make sure the captions align with the actual words. I remember this being a bit late, finishing late. We want to finish on time. All right, let's see if this is okay. See how actually starts here, but the captions, because we pressed in enter before, started a bit late. And I also don't like the gap here. Mickey loves ya. Cool, that looks all right. Now I'm also going to adjust the clip slightly. You can just simply add a filter. And the filter, very simple to use. You can use black and white three. Black and white three looks good. You can also use Jazz. Jazz looks pretty good. So you can just drag and drop it on top of all your clips. Go across like this. And then it looks kind of dark and it gets the aesthetic that, that most gym bros use when they edit their videos. Also, you can adjust the intensity of this. For example, if it's a bit strong, we can go to 40%. And then we can also adjust the clip itself, being a bit more specific. So if we go to adjustment, then we can turn brightness minus 5 to get that aesthetic. Contrast plus 5. Highlight, sorry, 
shadow minus five and illumination you can just take to minus five as well and it gets this really nice aesthetic all right i could actually make this video clip a bit longer i'm just demonstrating for the purposes of the video i'll just quickly check the doc to see if there's anything else that i have missed yeah that's pretty much it to be honest i hope that was helpful for your your content creation journey thanks for watching again my name is junius i am a fifth year medical student at the university of auckland and in my spare time i help clients grow a social presence in the health and fitness niche so if you're in the health and fitness niche and you need someone to edit your videos let me know and if there's any other videos that you'd like me to demonstrate how you can edit just send me a dm on instagram or an email so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one consider subscribing man if you're if you're liking content like this consider subscribing so you can get more edits like this hope your brand does well